It's Fan Friday. It's all about you guys and your comments. Are the Los Angeles Lakers done? Matt Kemp or Josh Hamilton? And the Philadelphia 76ers, they beat the Chicago Bulls. It's Fan Friday. It's all about you guys and your comments. Hi, everybody. I'm Big Vitao. You listen to JR Sports Briefs. Make sure you listen, baby. It's awesome. So before we get started with today's Fan Friday, I want to throw to a few things. I was hanging out in California with my main man, Coach Nick, earlier this weekend. Make sure you go ahead and click right there. Coach Nick, hey, guess what? He's a real coach. Check him out. And also, people were asking me about Floyd Mayweather Jr. You can watch that video right there. In a new addition to the JR Sport Brief uh, social network of things where I talk to you guys, make sure you now follow me on Instagram. Hit me up. I'll check you guys out. You can see all of the photos that I have there. I don't have any strippers on my pictures yet, but we'll see what happens. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Ask me for a follow so I, so I can hit you guys back. But let's start off with this first question from Yusuf Ali on Facebook. Will Ron Artest help the Lakers? And, you know, will he make their stats better? At the end of the day, the Lakers look like they don't like basketball. Andrew Bynum looks like he's more concerned with growing out his uh, his gray hairs than actually playing defense. And a sick-ass Kobe Bryant goes and scores like 31 points while the rest of the team plays like ass. So will Ron Artest help them? Absolutely. I don't know about him helping with threes and the shooting. We know he can be a little erratic at times, but he does go out there and he does play hard. If the Lakers don't play hard, it's a wrap going with the Lakers to win game seven, although the Nuggets can run them out of the Staples Center. Moving on to this next question for Fan Friday from Cody Daybold on Twitter. Josh Hamilton or Matt Kemp? You know what? That is such a tough one, but at the end of the day, I'm going with Matt Kemp just because, hey, I don't have to worry about whether or not this guy is going to have a drink and then disappear for the next few weeks. Josh Hamilton is absolutely killing. I know he hit four home runs in one damn game. He's batting over 400. He has like 35 plus RBIs. He has 14 home runs. But with Matt Kemp, I know what I'm getting, and that's not the potential alcohol clinic. And I know someone will be mad that I'm saying that, but that's just the reality. I'm going with a guy who I believe is younger and is more of a sure shot. Both teams are leading their divisions, but I'm going with Matt Kemp over Josh Hamilton. What do we have here for Fan Friday? This comes in from Man of 365 on Twitter. Was the Sixers win a fluke? I don't understand why people are so mad when Derrick Rose was not playing. The Sixers are a good team. Do I think they would have beat the Bulls without Derrick Rose or with Derrick Rose? No, not at all. But the guy wasn't playing. So leave Omer Ashik alone. Leave CJ Watson alone. Uh, break Carlos's Boozer's balls. I mean, he's accustomed to it, especially when you grow out your hair to look exactly like that. Matthias Fritz on Facebook, he asked me who's going to win the Champions League. Come back on Monday. I hooked up with my main man, Jimmy Conrad, right there. This guy was a professional player for the U.S. men's national team and also played here in the States. So everybody asking me about the Champions League, I went out and I got a professional. Only the best for JR Sport Brief. This is me. It's JR. It's the East River. It's windy. It's sunny. It's beautiful. Uh... There's a bridge behind me, the Queensboro Bridge, and I'm out, folks. Have a great day. It's Fan Friday. It's about you. Peace.